Hey guys, Justice Curry here. Just wanted to share with you something very important, very rare, very dear to my heart that came in the mail today. I actually got a few cool items in the mail, which I'll show you first. Um, lately, the last month, I've been on a crazy kick trying to get all my uh, MOCs, Men on Card, He-Man characters. Um, He-Man's near and dear to my heart. Um, I mean, this is the toy that I played with. I love G.I. Joe, but these are the ones that I got and played with non-stop during my entire childhood. But it wasn't until recently that I wanted to go down the road of getting them all on Mint on Card. Um, and you'll find out probably the end of 2017, mid-2018, I'm telling you, something's going to happen with these guys. They're going to go through the roof which I probably shouldn't be telling because that'll be competition with bidding against me on eBay. Um, just uh, my collection thus far. I tried not to go and get many yellowed ones, but it's it's hard. Um, I may even have to go back and, and upgrade these pretty soon. And cause That yellowing does bother me, but it's not the end of the world. What came in the mail today, though... First of all, I'll wait to show you the, the wonderful one. So, got a neat stink ore. Yep. Not, not that bad. I mean, I can handle a f little tinting of yellow. It doesn't bother me quite that much. Uh, a battle damage Skeletor, which I never had a Skeletor or a He-Man figure growing up. I only had, well, I did, but they were the battle damage versions. You know, the chest that would t move and, and show some cuts in it this oh favorite figure by far growing up and look at this mint i mean that's what bubbles i wish all of my my bubbles look like that beautiful beautiful the next one that is oh oh so nice check out this i got so lucky and was able to secure a horde trooper now horde troopers are figures that people army build which I talked about it in my last YouTube video if you want to watch it um, regarding G.I. Joe army builders but people want more than one um, just because in the cartoon there was more than one so uh, I think one of them fell no nope, there they are there's, there's some up there obviously one laying down right there with the custom Scareglow He-Man and, and the original Scareglow but for the moments you've all been waiting for this sucker is, I don't want to break it or you'll see me cry. Look at this. It is the Laser Power Skeletor. Mint on card, unpunched of all things. Obviously a little damage, but I am not <laughs> that concerned about a small amount of damage. It's there. It has a clear bubble. Now, Mint on card... Well, actually, the superpower, um, laser, laser power, if you will, He-Man and Skeletor, only were released in Italy and Spain. Um, this was later in the line, 1988. Uh, He-Man was cooling down in the U.S. Sales were, were plummeting, so they realized, ah, we don't have a market in the U.S. anymore, but it's still going strong in Italy and Spain. So they decided to continue producing figures, which we get the Giants, Megator and Titus, and then the two laser lights that are the only ones that uh, we didn't get here in the States. So if you're a completist like me, like I gotta have them all, which I do, I have all of them loose, but now I'm to the next phase in the collecting era, which is the mint on card. This is the Spanish version. From what I understand, uh, Motu Joe, if you don't, if you're not friends with him on Facebook, please friend request him. He's a great uh, wealth of information, and I'm proud to say he's my friend just because he lives nearby me, and he's got one of the most epic He-Man collections, I venture to say, in the country, uh, or one of the top dogs. But the Spanish version has the shorter cape, whereas the Italian, the cape is a little bit longer. I mean, this is a piece of art if I ever did see one myself you see the artwork right there um, I'll show you real quick my loose ones in my display case but here's the 
Uh, see how the cape's a little bit longer? So that must be the Ital that not must be, it is the Italian version. It does work. And then the two laser power He-Mans, the one with the classic head. Unfortunately, that's a reproduction sword, but I don't care because I have the original sword right here on the uh, the Dolph, the Dolph Lundgren head um, from the movie. So these are my, my laser powers. They do work. I love them so, so very much. And next up, laser power E-Man. We'll see. I'll do a video once I get it. But uh, thanks for stopping by and, and talking with me. Please, not talking with me, watching me. <laughs> I don't see any words. You're not talking with me. Um, make sure to subscribe. Click on the little subscribe button. You'll see other videos that I do. Um, 80s toy nostalgia runs near and dear in my heart. So have a wonderful day. Take care and see you later.